Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our third season of Chemcom TV's News Bulletin. CCTV is our innovative program where we share news and information from Chemcom Europe 2016 here in Amsterdam with you. Also, in this new series of CCTV's News Bulletins, you can expect interviews with authority and industry experts. Today, we have an interview on data sharing. As of tomorrow, several questions and answers from our panel discussions. Every day, a statement of the day and a forecast for the day. And also this time, we have a local reporter explaining us more about the Dutch in general and Amsterdam in particular. This time, our local reporter is a freelance journalist working for several broadcast organizations here in the Netherlands. Annemarie, nice to have you with us this week. Hello, Cheert. I see you're already showing a Dutch phenomenon, the fiets. Yes, a Dutch phenomenon indeed. We even have more bikes than people in this country. Nearly 17 million people and over 18 million bikes, of which more than 820,000 here in Amsterdam. If you like, you can rent a bike yourself, but be careful in traffic as all Amsterdam adventures, it's at your own risk. My first stop brings me at a place where you can get a Dutch delicacy, herring. It's raw fish, best eaten with fresh onions. Delicious! Can you order one for me? Sure, cheered. No problem. Goeiedag en herring met uitjes alstublieft. Dank u wel. Tot ziens. Here you are. Enjoy it. Thank you. Tastes great. Fish gives you a thirst, so I would like to invite you to come to the hotel bar for a drink. In the meantime, we will watch the interview I had with Crystal Mousset on data sharing. The recent implementing regulation has been adopted because data sharing and especially the sharing of cost was in many cases perceived not to be in line with the intention of REITs. Well, Thierry, you said it. You, the registrants only need to pay for what he needs for his tonnage bond. So, for example, if you are in the 1 to 10 tonnage bond, you are supposed to be requested, of course, for all uh, the, the data that are for the 1 to 10 tons and for the administrative cost which relates to that tonnage bond. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not always that simple, by the way, because it might well be that even though uh, you need a certain number of studies, it might well be that you are being requested for a study which is in a higher tonnage bond because it's a, it's a study which is useful for clarifying the classification, mm -hmm. for example. And it's fair and it's legitimate that the newcomers is being asked also for that study. Uh, can the new rules also be enforced upon consortia? Well, definitely. The complete interview can be viewed at our website and YouTube channel. And for those here in the hotel at channel 55. It's definitely a topic on which many people have an opinion, which brings me to the statement of the day. Also, this ChemCon, we use our ChemConnect app that allows us to share news and allows you to engage in interactive polls. And you can use it for coming together. Regarding the statements, sometimes it's an actual statement and sometimes it's a more trivial question. Like this example, which city hosted the first ChemCon 20 years ago? With us in our CCTV studio for our first statement of the day, Mr. Mike Rasenberg, also of the European Chemical Agency. Mike, welcome. Hi, Chair. Good to be here. Mike, do you know the location of the first ChemCon in 1996? I think that was in Germany and it's probably Mannheim. Congratulations, very good. Um, I know your statement is about dissemination. Um, some companies are not completely aware of what is disseminated. Okay, when companies submit a REACH registration dossier to us, we remove everything that is by definition confidential. And if companies have claimed elements confidential, the ones they can claim confidential, then we also remove it. For the rest, everything is published to the web. Uh, the reason to do it is to make sure that all the information is available for anybody who wants to have a look at it, but also to make sure that companies take their uh, obligations serious in terms of uh, the information will be transparently available to the world, basically. Recently, we have updated our uh, dissemination portal to make the information even more transparent, more explicit and more clear to, uh, to the world. And your statement is? Statement of the day is that with the new REACH dissemination portal, companies will take their obligations more seriously. Before voting, I would suggest take a peek at their new portal. Uh, for now, Mike, thank you very much. And I go to the bar for a quick drink with our local reporter. Hi, Andre. 
Hi, cheers. Nice meeting you. Three on the cheeks, it's Dutch custom. Finally able to personally meet the local reporter. Annemarie, we're here in the Taylor Bar of the hotel. Can you tell us a little bit about the Polish founder of the hotel, Mr. Krasnopolski? Sure. Mr. Krasnopolski came to Amsterdam at the age of 22, where he first started as a tailor at Amsterdam's first department store. In this bar, you can see many items referring to his former profession. After that, he started a new career at the Polish Café, a place he bought later on, together with several adjacent buildings. After a while, he started renting some rooms and a hotel was born. Facing the Royal Palace, the hotel on the dam was a great success and Mr. Krasnopolski bought several other buildings in the area, 39 small houses, to build the hotel as it stands today. Actually a true tailor sewing a hotel together with a keen eye for detail. Thank you very much for this interesting story on Mr. Krasnopolski. Now it's time for the forecast of the day. Luckily the studio is next door. In the spirit of Krasnopolski, Chemcon always tries to offer you a tailor-made program addressing to all the needs of compliance-driven companies. This morning we will start with a special workshop aimed at SMEs to help them prepare for the 2018 REIT registration. Followed by hands-on information on REIT's IT tools like IUCLIT and Cheezar or Kezar, not sure how to pronounce it. But as Mike Rasenberg said to me, pronunciation is not important as long as you use it. Parallel to this, an interactive legal counsel forum providing an in-depth legal perspective on regulatory issues. And in the afternoon, a stakeholder seminar focusing on managing the business impact of key regulations. Thank you for watching and enjoy tonight's welcome reception.